this is Danielle Smith and I'm reporting on the big moon that's going to be happening tonight. Seems as if the wolves are going to be out howling a little more, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I didn't drink this whole thing so far. <laughs> no more drinking? Now this super moon may be brighter compared to a normal full moon. It is 30% brighter. I really would like to talk to Tim Klein about this, so let's go over to Tim Klein and ask him what he thinks about it. Tim? Thanks, Danielle. All right, we're down here, Supermoon Watch, San Diego, 2011. It's getting heated down here. The waves are getting huge. For those who don't know about the Supermoon, it's supposedly 3,000 miles away, or kilometers, not sure. I got a few girls down here at the beach. They're scared shitless on this super moon. Apparently their animals are missing and they're down here looking for them. Now, how old are you girls? And give me your names. I'm 18, my name's Daphne. Awesome. 18, Emily. 18, my name is Millie. Awesome, these girls are 18 years old. Did you know that this moon comes every 18 years? I did not know that. <laughs> of, of what? Really unaware. Yeah, well, coming every 18 years is just how I oh. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see the swell start coming in. And then after that, I'm gonna help these girls find their animals. What do you think about this super moon? Really intense. Intense, all right. What do you think? I mean, in all proportion, what do you think's gonna happen for this super moon? I mean, you see this crazy ring around the sky up here. You think anything crazy is gonna happen? Nope. Nothing. No. Fuck. What do you what, what do you think about what do you think about NASA? Oh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> she has no idea what NASA is. That is unbelievable. Do you know what a VCR is? <laughs> no, oh my god. Flat so blonde. You know, I don't even I've never even heard of it. Unbelievable. This is Tim Klein for FTV. Back to you, Danielle. And now for a special commentary on the super moon, let's go over to good old Bennett Brower Jr. Bennett. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Bennett Brower Jr. Didn't think the suits would have me back, perhaps. Thought they would have my derriere replaced by one of those cookie cutter store mannequins. Well, maybe I'm not the norm. I'm not camera friendly. I don't wear clothes that fit me. I haven't had sex with a woman. I don't know how that works. I guess I don't fall in line or am hygienic. I don't wipe properly. I lack style. I have no charisma or self-esteem. I don't own a toothbrush or let my scabs heal. Maybe I can't reach all the parts of my body. But I guess the powers that be will keep signing my paycheck until John and Jane Q viewers get back to watching commentators who don't frighten little children or eat their own dandruff or pop their white heads with a compass that used in high school or sweat. I sweat profusely when I sleep. <laughs> oh, back to you. <laughs> That was nice. Uh, that, I guess, is a wrap up for the Super Dude. Thank you, everyone. Y'all have a good night. Keep watching this TV show. Later.